Globemaster II aircraft relocate from Joint Base Charleston, South Carolina, September 29, 2022, in preparation for Hurricane Ian. The base routinely relocates aircraft prior to extreme weather conditions in order to continue the rapid global mobility mission and to prevent potential loss or damage from the storm. U.S. Air Force video by Airman First Class Christian Silvera. The stunning shots in this article were shot on Saturday, September 5, 2020, by photographer Simon Pearson Kujil from Dunmail Rays in the Lake District, a mountainous region in northwest England. They show a U.S. Air Force C-17 Globemaster II aircraft using radio call sign RCH-444, belonging to the 437th Airlift Wing from Joint Base Charleston, South Carolina, flying at low level in low flying area 17, LFA-17. The giant aircraft, departed from RAF Bryce Norton, can be seen flying through a valley. The moisty weather conditions and the rapid decrease in airflow's pressure around the wing as the aircraft maneuvered over the Lake District terrain almost led to the creation of a condensation cloud, like those often generated by the passes of fast jets. Inside the 4,347 SKU, miles of airspace available in LFA-17, which include Cumbria, East North Yorkshire, and North Lancashire, British, as well as Allied tactical and transport aircraft, can fly as low as 250 feet, even lower over open water, while helicopters can go lower to 100 feet AGL, above ground level, even though due to the nature of their task, for specific training purposes, choppers may also fly down to ground level. While all the conflicts after Desert Storm have seen combat planes operating mostly at medium or high altitude, using also standoff weapons from outside the envelope of the enemy surface to air missile batteries. Low-level tactics remain a vital element in an Air Force's ability to respond to any scenario around the world. For instance, in 2011, few months before the Libyan Air War started, RAF C-130s were tasked to rescue oil workers that were trapped in Libya. The C-130s took off from Malta and flew over the Mediterranean, called Tripoli Air Traffic Control, explained who they were and what they were up to. They got no reply from the controllers, therefore continued at low level once over the desert and in hostile airspace. Once all the oil workers were picked up in more than one location, footage was shown on TV in the UK of the Hercules leaving the small remote airfield and the pilot was seen to leave the runway and immediately retract his undercarriage gaining very little height once out of the danger zone the aircraft rapidly gained height out of range of small arms.
The foregoing is just an example that proves how low-level tactics are not only used in war operational tasks, but also important during peacekeeping and humanitarian support operations. Finally, it's worth remembering that, generally speaking, the ability to fly lower than 2,000 feet can be useful also during normal training sorties, when weather conditions are such to require a low-level leg to keep visual contact with the ground and VMC, visual meteorological conditions. I've recently had the opportunity to interview and talk to several pilots <laughs> David Senciotti is a journalist based in Rome, Italy. He is the founder and editor of The Aviationist, one of the world's most famous and read military aviation blogs. Since 1996, he has written for major worldwide magazines, including Air Forces Monthly, Combat Aircraft, and many others covering aviation, defense, war, industry, intelligence, crime, and cyber war. He has reported for the US. He has written five books and contributed to many more ones. ต้องการใช้ภารกิจลำเลียงด้านอื่นๆนะคะตัวเลขก็สามารถปรับเปลี่ยนแล้วก็จัดที่นั่งใหม่ได้ตามความต้องการของภารกิจค่ะเครื่องยนต์เป็นเครื่องยนต์เทอร์โบแฟนพรตแอนวิตนี่นะคะโดยสเปคของมิลิตาร This is a little information that I know about the C-17 Globemaster II aircraft. Please help me to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.